Hello, and thank you for tuning in. This video is on how I modded my Ruby's 1974 The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Killing Mask. I hope you enjoy the video, and thank you for watching. So I knew that I was going to replace the fake leather straps with real leather straps. So I took a leather punch and a mallet and punched out all eight holes. That was the first thing that I did. Next I cut out the mouth, teeth, and fake wire. Then I took a piece of an old wire coat hanger and sanded off all the brass polish. Next I took a sharp punch awl and punched holes where I was going to push the coat hanger through. Now I'm bending the coat hanger into the correct shape for the mouth support. Now I'm taking 3M industrial strength duct tape and putting it over the points of the coat hanger on the inside of the mask so that you don't cut your face when you're taking it on and off. And now it's time to stitch the coat hanger in place. For the wire I'm using garden twine stripped down so that it's just metal wire. As reference for the stitching on the mouth and the forehead, I used a screen grab from an old Connor DeLess piece from 2016. And here he is with the stitching in the mouth complete. The next thing I did was to cut out the hole in the forehead and make way for the new stitching. And here I am stitching up the forehead. And here he is with the forehead stitched up. And now I'm cutting out the sides of the mask where the fake skin is and the fake leather stitching. As I was about to add real leather stitching, you'll see that in a moment here. Now I'm using a light flesh tone colored paint and painting over the old black fake leather stitching to try to camouflage it a little bit and make way for the new real leather stitching.
And here's the real leather suede stitching that I got from Michael's Arts and Crafts that I'm going to now be lacing through the holes that I punched in the beginning of the video. So that's how I modded out my Ruby's 1974 Texas Chainsaw Mask or Leatherface Killing Mask. Although I didn't add eyelashes, I still might do that later. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It is believed that the indictment is only one of a series to be handed down as a result of a special grand jury investigation. Grave robbing in Texas is this hour's top news story. An informant led officers of the Muerto County Sheriff's Department to a cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art, the remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts, and it's feared more will turn up as the probe continues. Deputies report that in some instances, only parts of a corpse had been removed. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the ghoulish case and said only that he did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery, fearing the remains of relatives have been removed. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. Oil storage units continue to burn out of control at the huge Texaco refinery near the Texas-Louisiana border. Three storage units exploded into flames during the night, killing at least three workers and injuring a dozen more. Firefighting units from three Texas cities continue to battle.